Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the pit. Today we're cooking ribeye steak and we're gonna have some Brussels sprouts on the side. So I'm gonna season it up, light the pit up and show you how I get down. Stick with me, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. All right, so first what we gotta do is we gotta light up the pit. So got a chimney right here. Go put some uh, tumbleweeds in there. Get this bad boy lit up. Let's go. Big boy style. Big boy style. Big boy style. Big boy style. We don't play. We don't play. We don't play. We don't play. Let's go. Then we're going to take a couple of the old coals and put it on top. Get this fire going a little bit. So while this is sparking and making a little noise over here getting ready, we're going to uh, prep the food. All right, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. All right, this fire is going, so we're gonna make this quick because y'all know how to do steak. So we got the Brussels sprouts right here, all rinsed off. We got the steak all rinsed off and dried off. So what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna take our Worcestershire sauce, rub it, flip it, smack it, pause, and then put it back up. Don't worry, you know, the germ police. We're gonna wipe all these off later. All right, so now we're gonna take our kosher salt. All right, let's take our kosher salt, get this ready, and season it up. All right. Make contact with the meat when you're seasoning. That's good on that side. We're gonna take some black pepper, coarse black pepper. And then we're gonna take some garlic powder, cause we like garlic. Who don't like garlic? Your breath might be stink, but it's gonna be all good. And then, y'all guys just figured out uh, Lowry's on uh, YouTube. Hey, welcome to the party. Put a little bit on there. Not much, not much, just a little bit. And then we do the same thing to the other side. Let's go, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. How's everybody doing out there? Hope you enjoyed all the previous videos that I made for you to watch. Hope you enjoyed them. Please like and subscribe and come back for more. All right, Please like and subscribe and come back for more. So you see what I just did right there? Just in case your, your hand just gets a little shaky and you didn't get even coverage from your uh, shaker because I don't have a shaker bottle with the holes in it. It's just open all willy nilly. You kind of spread it around real quick on your hand. Like this, like this, like that. See, see how I did? They say don't rub the stuff in there, but look, if you get too much on one side because this wind is kicking a little bit, you uh, make it work, right? You make it work. And as I said, the, the last bit, put the Lowry's on there. Put the Lowry's on there. Put the Lowry's on there. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. We're going to let these guys hang out. And when I come back, Jax, we're going to do something with these uh, Brussels sprouts. All right. Don't go anywhere. All right. So we're back with the Brussels sprouts. We're going to take these guys. I'm gonna do something to them real quick, you know? I'm gonna have these as best as possible. I'm gonna cook these in a cast iron skillet. But we wanna season this up first. So take your time, cut them in half. I'm gonna season it with a little bit of uh, that grapeseed oil. Y'all don't hear much about grapeseed oil, right? Don't know why that is, man. Grapeseed oil is good. It's good for you. Y'all like, why are you talking in a New York accent? I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel it. I feel it. So, my wife and I love to have steak dinner. You know, I'm, I wasn't a steak guy um, for a long time. Um, I'm not sure if I am yet, but 
the more I cook steak, the more I appreciate eating it because I didn't like steak for a long time because uh, restaurants didn't do it right for me. I asked for a specific temp. I rarely got that specific temp. So once I honed my skills at home, I got what I want at a cheaper price. So what we learned during the pandemic is when you cook at home, you save money. Well, we knew that before, but <clears throat> the, the early 2000s changed the culture and made it cool to eat out all the time. Now, as I said earlier, as you can hear in the background, that fire is popping. So we about to get this thing moving before the embers start to come over here because we don't want to uh, play with fire like that. I ain't scared of fire, are you? All right, so let's take this guy out. Let's throw him over here. All right, so I'm gonna sit these guys over here. Real quick like, real quick like. Take some grapeseed oil, just a little bit. Y'all know how I do with grapeseed oil. I love grapeseed oil. Let's throw it in there and toss it. Let's toss it around, let's toss it around, all right? And what we're gonna do is simply put some Lowry's on there. Nothing fancy, but we want to get it seasoned. Not heavily seasoned, but seasoned. All right, and we want to get some uh, pepper. And then we're going to put some uh, butter in it later. So that's all the seasoning it needs. So the next time you see me, I'm going to be dumping this fuel over here that you can't see yet in the grill and let's get to cooking. All right, don't go anywhere. I told you all this fire is going. Look at it go. We ain't scared of this thing. Take it. Be careful. Get your fire gloves. Dump it. Bank it to one side, baby. And then put this somewhere safe. For right now, we're going to put it over here. A fire resistant area. Now, what you do, pro game, get you one of these and bank these suckers to the side. We're not going to use any uh, accessories. We're just doing old school style today, baby. Bank on one side. Let's go. Once we are done, we're not going to need this anymore. Once we are done, that. Let these grates heat up a little bit. And uh, I'll bring you back. We're going to brush them off, clean them off, and get everything going. Don't go anywhere. Let's bring you in real quick here. So I'm going to go ahead and take the top off here. I'm going to brush these grates down a little bit. Strong guy, strong guy. Just keep moving the grill, man. Just keep moving the grill, all right? So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna get this pan a little hot, put this over here. We're going to go ahead and put on the ribeye steaks on the cool side of the grill. I'm actually going to take this back off to put a piece of wood in there in a few. So just wait on that. And while this pan heats up, I'm going to go ahead and put this in here so it can start sauteing. And I'm going to add some butter and some cherry wine as we go. Be right back. Don't y'all go anywhere. Man, that thing popping, man. What's going on? All right. So let's take a look at what's going on. We put some applewood up in this bad boy. Like, would you would you want me to hold it like this? Normally I have it like this, but y'all can't see. So I'm going to take this over here. It's a good idea to have a table like that. All right. Not going to need that anymore. 
but we are going to need a spoon to stir this around a little bit as these get a nice little char on here just let this go no need to add any fat quite yet or white wine sherry wine I'm gonna let those get a little happy for a little bit longer and we're gonna watch those steaks cooking in direct everything looks good so far all right I'll bring you back when he's ready to do something else. All right, so what are we working with now? That looks good. Toss these around a little bit. Got a little bit more char on them. We don't want these to burn. They got a good flavor profile built up from the cast iron on there. So what we're going to do, we're going to put some butter. Not a sponsor, not a sponsor, not a sponsor, not a sponsor. Put a little butter in there. All right. That flame is kicking up, baby. The flame is kicking up. The sucker is not playing. Not playing at all. Not playing. Not playing. Not playing at all. This is only going to be on here for a little bit longer. Let's close that down. Let that calm down a little bit. And then we're going to put white wine in. Watch your boy work here. Just let that cook down for about five minutes. Get those nice and tender. The alcohol will burn off. Well, it actually doesn't have alcohol like that in there, but they get all happy and we'll come back. By the time that's ready, the steak should be close to being at temp to uh, get it ready for the sear. It is time to take those Brussels sprouts off. They've been chilling in this butter, sherry wine reduction, getting nice and happy. Toss those around. Oh man, look at that. Beautiful. Set this aside. Take this inside. These steaks are ready to be seared. So we're just gonna let them hang out a little bit right here as they uh, get those juices back in them. And we take this inside. And that fire is going to get raging. Raging hot, baby. Raging hot. But don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Now, who told you this wasn't a fire? We got the steaks ready. They're about 225. See how they look right now? All right. Let's throw them on. That fire ain't playing, boy. That fire ain't playing, boy. Fire ain't playing. This guy over here too. We're gonna move him around. Gonna check him. Watch him work. I know that's gonna cook faster than this one. I know this. Got an old school spatula. Nothing fancy. You know what I'm saying? When I turn this one, I want to render that fat, that fat right here. So I'm gonna turn it. Not the regular quarter turn, but let me show you. This right here. These steaks are not thick, so we are going to just let this bad boy go. Oh man, they curled up. Curl up a little bit. Curl up a little bit.
We want to render that fat still. So that is 139. I'm going to let it hang out for about two minutes. And we're going to take it off to rest. All right. Let's take these guys off. how we roll son and these steaks are done i know that one curled up on the grill but hey we uh, evened it back out got high heat on there that spinalis will go wham, wham, wham. <laughs> and it went wham, wham, wham. so when we cut it we're going to cut it against the grain we'll show you inside let's go man it's getting dark out here all right here we are so the steaks are done back inside nice and juicy we're going to start slicing into it Go start with the spinalis. We like the spinalis because it is very tender. And what you, what I want to do is take some of this fat off because we are not going to eat all that fat. When you plate up your steaks for your family members, make sure you take some of that fat off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slice up that ribeye spinalis right there. Put it off to the side. And then we're gonna take this bad boy right here and we're gonna start slicing into it. All clean like, look at that, look at that. All clean like, look at that. And take this, take this fat off, it did not render. Like this video. If you like this video, 
follow me, share. Yeah, like this video. Mm. Be sure to like it.